All right, so we're going to go through a quick lightning round, the cat lightning round, whatever you want to call Woo! it. Let's <laughs> go! <be> four... <laughs> I'm nervous. Hey, man, it's going to be four quick questions. You know, no, we're not even recording right now. We're just having a conversation, so just answer it. And then, um, you ready? Yep. All right, so number one, what do you do for fun when you're not, you know, doing what you're doing with business credit? I love working out, going to the okay. gym, I'm eating good food. Matter of fact, no, let me be more specific. Beyond the never ending journey to find the best chicken burrito. Okay. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you make it? Man, look, it's, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not Julio who could make it a lot better than me. <laughs> Julio Marie could probably make it a lot better than me. All right, man. All right, bet, bet, bet. All right, what's your favorite credit resource and why? You gave us a few. It could be a podcast. It could be a book. It could be those resources to know about um, business banks, things like that. I love NerdWallet. I love NerdWallet.com. I love U.S. Credit Card Guide. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Those are the, those are probably the main ones that I like. <coughs> cat podcast. Okay, all right, got oh, you. Okay. Of course, cat podcast. Oh, that's, a given, that's a given, though. You feel me? Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay great resource nerd wall is nerd wall is official too all right so you said working out is good i think that's one of those good habits that allows you to do good in different avenues in your life um i want to ask what habit can you attribute to your success that you have with credit business credit etc focus focus okay. um knowing what what my purpose was as i said in the beginning my purpose was to be able to get large limits of business credit mm -hmm. right um specifically to invest in businesses right mm -hmm. and uh, there are so many different flashy objects in ways to make money and things that could be seen as opportunities but mm -hmm. in reality, are really distractions, mm -hmm. right? Because if mm -hmm. I saw uh, things early on, like, I don't know, let me think, like Forex over here, trading mm -hmm. options over here, mm -hmm. or early on doing an Airbnb, um, I, I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at now. I wouldn't have my credit repair business. I wouldn't be able to have the funding that I have, wouldn't be able to invest in real estate the way I am. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I would have been all over the place or I would have spread myself too thin, mm -hmm. you know? So I highly suggest people that there's a power of one, power of one, focus on one thing until mm -hmm. you'll be able to grow to have a sustain, then you'll be able to go on different things because we have only a limited time. Uh, we only have a limited resources. We can't spread our, those resources so thinly, right? Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Okay, I like that. And you mentioned credit repair business. So do you help people with their credit like you do for yeah. them as far as the personal yeah. side? So okay. I do I do credit um, credit restoration, credit repair and credit credit restoration. So I help um, entrepreneurs and everyday people uh, remove negative items from their credit report and I also help them restore it. As in okay. I help build credit builder accounts, give them access to age trade lines, 20 plus year trade lines, I give them credit education, also help people with the transition to be able to get to the business credit. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're here about, right? Okay. We're trying to get to the, the business credit side. Getting your personal credit right is cute and it is mandatory. Yeah. But to get able to get to the real bag, the bag where um, it is the, the usage is not going to report to your personal credit, <laughs> the business credit is the way to go, y'all. And it's a, it's a repeatable process. It's a repeatable process. So in it, in setting, in er, although everybody isn't meant to own a, or meant to be an entrepreneur, as a lot of people say, everybody needs to own something, right? Yeah. Everybody needs to own something. And if you want to own a business, this is a great way to be able to invest in the business, to mm -hmm. be able to use other people's money to be able to invest. Okay, most definitely. So you said you help entrepreneurs and everyday people is that what you said so i help entrepreneur or let me rephrase i help entrepreneurs everyday entrepreneurs be able to uh, get to the bag using leveraging their personal credit okay everyday entrepreneurs basically mm -hmm. okay okay i have your ig here it says i help black entrepreneurs so majority of people listening to the cat podcast are black but do you not help people Ooh, that are not man, <laughs> 
black <laughs> entrepreneurs. Let's talk about that. We're talking about all right, let's get it. Yeah. Black entrepreneurs because there's so many times where we're so we're so left out of mm -hmm. uh, of of opportunities, right? Because we're not given we're not given the opportunities. We're not given this information. So yeah. platforms like this is great for our our community, mm -hmm. especially uh, for the black community. So most definitely, most definitely. Okay, the last question of the you know quick round, probably the most important one. If you could change one thing about the black community when it comes to credit, business credit, what would it be and why? Well, let's talk about wh why we don't have access to all these credit to begin with, because it's, mm. in, and it's in the household, right? Let's talk mm. about growing up. There should be no reason why we don't even know about credit until, until it's too late. Yeah. Until we can't get approved for a mortgage, we can't get approved for our first apartment, we mm -hmm. can't get our credit card. Mm -hmm. Right, our first credit card. We should be talking about that early on. We should mm -hmm. be talking about what credit is at a young mm -hmm. age. Mm -hmm. We can't have the talk of of money finances be a taboo topic or not talked about at all. Right? Yeah. We should be teaching them instead of saying instead of telling our kids, "Oh, yo, don't worry about it. Let the adults handle it." Show, bring them with you to different meetings. All my dad used to do that with me. All he used to bring me to real estate meetings. Right. Mm. He used to bring me to the bank, even though I didn't understand what was going on. I mean, it was just being that environment, being being exposed at a young age, you awesome. know, that there are black people doing doing stuff like this. You know, yeah. so it's, it's all about exposure. Start mm -hmm. early. Teach these mm -hmm. kids, buy them books. Mm -hmm. There's so many educational resources out there. Most definitely. Most definitely. OK, before we get on to the last question. I just want to, you know, open it up. Is there a question that people do not ask you that you would want to talk about while we have this platform on right now? Oh, man. And this is entrepreneurship. I think if you decide to go into this entrepreneurship, you can start your own businesses, right? Mm -hmm. um, know that it's nice. It's a hard route, man. It's hard. It's hard, but anything worth having it is not going to be easy, right? And I think, and people say all the time, being able to be successful is by eighty percent mental. You got, you have to have self confidence in this. It's, mm -hmm. it's a literally an everyday battle, mm -hmm. everyday battle with yourself, making sure that you're better than you were yesterday, mm -hmm. and don't expect that there's going to be people who are going to support you right away. One thing I knew from <laughs> shout out to uh Nehemiah Davis. He he said that look, people are not going to support you until you they start seeing shit happen. Yeah, that's a fact. Shout out Neil. Right. Yeah. So look, if nobody else is gonna su support you, you better support yourself, mm. right? And just keep grinding and keep focused, you just keep going like. Mm -hmm. For example, um, we're both on big on on the social media marketing. When I first started, I wasn't getting getting any likes. You know, I wasn't getting any likes, a lot of engagement. But we have to have faith that just we keep going, keep going and going and going. It's going. This engagement is going to engagement is going to be there. The brand mm -hmm. is going to be strengthened. And we just have to keep going, knowing that we can't stop. The moment we stop, the moment we stop is the moment we fail. Mm. We got to keep going, y'all, because look, there's always somebody watching. Mm -hmm. There's always somebody watching. Building and that goes into building your brand. That and that and that, that that's uh, that's a whole another episode that we can talk about. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. We, we're going we're going around a part two as well. But yeah. So final question. You gave a lot of gems, a lot of crystals, all that. You know, they're gonna be making their favorite jewelry with all the crystals. You don't care. You feel me? Uh -huh. I hope some people run the Wells Fargo play. I hope some people run all these plays that you gave. But can you give the people a final credit crystal for us to walk away with for today's episode? Man, a credit crystal, man. I think I, I want to say I gave out everything, man. Hey, man, if you want to reemphasize, some people, they might have went over their heads. You could always reemphasize something, too. Man, I think the key, man, is this inquiries, man, remove those inquiries. Once I found out how to remove inquiries, man, it's, it's really a game changer. Mm. Like, no matter what you apply to, no matter what you apply for, you just know that you don't have to be scared anymore. Because so many times we get scared, like, oh, I don't know if I get, I'll get approved. I don't mm -hmm. want to apply. I got to make sure everything is right. Yeah. 
Fuck it. Go apply for it. Apply That's for it. In yeah. worst case scenario, you get denied, you get a hard inquiry, you delete that inquiry, run that shit back. Mm. Run that shit back. Figure out mm. what was wrong, run that shit back. Mm. Now you get to rewind, rewind, fix the errors, and do it again. That, mm-hmm. I think people underestimate the power of just removing those hard inquiries. That goes into getting as many funding, funding as you want. That yeah. goes into getting as many auto loans as you want, mm-hmm. right? Um, uh, making sure your credit score, your vanity credit score is up, right? Making sure that um, credit cards, mortgages, all of that. Man, learn how to remove those hard inquiries and master that. Most definitely, most definitely. Appreciate you, Julian. Appreciate all the uh, jewels. Can you tell us how we can find you? What you got going on? You know, how can they get? How can the people get in contact with you? What you got going on? You can find me on Instagram at J Talks Credit. You can find me on Facebook, Julian Pilot Hutchison. I have mm-hmm. a Facebook page, uh, Take Flight Solutions. Every day I'm dropping gems, dropping tips on how to improve your credit, how to leverage your credit to invest in businesses. Um, mm-hmm. I have a business funding checklist, a free business funding checklist that I want mm-hmm. everybody to check out. Look, a lot of people come to me, say, what do I need? What do I need? What, what order do I need? And this checklist is going to be able to give you everything that you need from A to Z to be able to get these $100,000 of bank business credit. A lot of stuff that we talked about today, it's, it's, it's listed out step in order from A to Z. I need you guys to mm. check that out. You could text LIST, L-I-S-T, to 707-244-7669. That mm. is L-I-S-T to 707-244-7669. And that's free. And that is a free. Wow. Check that out, y'all. Check wow. that out. Wow. That's my, that's my gift to y'all. Check that out. And there you have it. Y'all have a blessed one.